So we're just going to walk through uh, a neuro targeted neurological assessment for a patient who's calling uh, with a chief complaint of a headache. Uh, walk in the room, uh, say hi, my name's Matthew, I'm paramedic. Uh, what's going on today? Hey, I'm having a massive headache. Okay, my partner's just going to get a set of vitals on you if that's okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, I can see you're not having any problems breathing. Nope. Uh, uh, I'm just going to feel your pulse here, if that's all right. Yeah. Okay, feel a nice, regular, strong pulse. Uh, so I'm just going to ask you a few questions, if uh, that's all right. When did this all start? Uh, maybe half an hour ago or so. I started getting kind of nauseous, uh, threw up a little bit, and then shortly after, my head started to hurt. Okay. Uh, did it ha just come on all of a sudden? Like, uh, over how many minutes would it have come on? Or the nausea came over kind of quick. Uh, over a couple minutes and okay. kind of, like I said I threw up a bit and then uh, shortly after I started getting a headache that was getting worse and worse over a few minutes. Okay so how long ago did the nausea start? About half an hour ago. Okay and what about the headache? Uh, headache probably started maybe 10 minutes ago and it's kind of getting up to the what it is now. Okay uh, were you doing anything when your symptoms started? Not really no I was just watching TV. Do you think anything caused these symptoms or uh, anything No I'm not sure. No, no idea. <laughs> Uh, and you've told me how your symptoms have changed. Have you ever been diagnosed with anything like this? Ever no, been prone to headaches had, or migraines or before. anything like that? No. <clears throat> anything make your symptoms better or worse? Um, bright lights, like it's kind of, the bright lights were kind of hard. I had to turn down the lights. Well, the bright lights are hard on you? Yeah. Okay. Anything make it better other than turn the lights down? Not really. Nothing no. else. Okay. Um, <clears throat> any other symptoms other than the nausea, but not noticing uh, anything else? No, that's it. No. No. Um, and uh, right now, uh, that pain is it, whereabouts is it in your it's head? Like right here, okay. kind of going back. And how would you describe it? Is it sharp um, or dull? It's a pretty sharp pain, yeah. Uh, and uh, what number would you give it? 10 being the um, worst I'd pain you've ever had? Like zero, none. Five, maybe. Okay. So uh, you you, vom you got nauseated and vomited uh, 30 minutes ago, had a headache that started 10 minutes ago. It, it's sharp in nature and it's uh, up in your right side of your head. Uh, and it's five out of 10. Uh, and you don't have any other symptoms that you've noticed with that. Uh, do you have any uh, allergies? Uh, no. Are you on any medications? No. Uh, do you, uh, so uh, any medications that you've been prescribed that you're not taking? No. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever never been told you've had mini strokes or strokes before? No. Uh, seizures or epilepsy? Uh, no. Nope. No degenerative uh, disorders, uh, ALS, Parkinson's, anything like that? No. Uh, are you not prone to headaches? You've already told me that. And no history of any cancer or, or infections anywhere. Uh, as far as symptoms in the past week or now, uh, are you noticing anything weird with your face or like your eyes or nope. your nose or your ears, hearing or nope. moving your face, everything seems fine? Yeah. Uh, moving your arms and legs seems fine? Yeah. Uh, what about feeling? Anything feel numb or nope. not have, or uh, can't move it well? Nope. Uh, no. Uh, and uh, no problems uh, with cognitive function. Things feel blurry or feel dazed or anything like that? Um, just working through with headaches, uh, Parker's got a set of vital signs back. Uh, we'll get a set of vital signs and we'll get a cardiogram, please. Uh, and then we can get set up for an IV in case we want this for this patient. <clears throat> um, just with headaches, we're always uh, concerned. How old are you, sir? Uh, 32. 32. Now, you're not of an age that typically has a stroke, but we'll just go through some risk factors. Uh, you don't have any history of high blood pressure. Uh, no history of diabetes. Are you a smoker? No. Uh, do you have any heart problems? No. Nope. Uh, uh, no diagnosed heart problems, no irregular heartbeats, nope. uh, no enlargement of your heart. Nope. And how much would you exercise in a given day? Uh, oh, how much, how minutes walking might be a good yeah, way to Yeah, like an hour maybe. Yeah, maybe hour, an hour. hour or two. Okay. <clears throat> no other medical conditions, psychiatric conditions, nope. anxiety or depression. Nope. We've already said no heart conditions, nope. and no problems with your lungs, nope. uh, any problems with your stomach or esophagus nope. or bowels, nope. uh, urinating fine. Yeah. Uh, no other endocrine issues, uh, thyroid is nope. a pretty common one, uh, no musculoskeletal. Nope. Last uh, time you saw your doctor? Um, six months ago. And when did you last eat? I know you threw it up. Uh, I had some lunch a couple hours ago. A couple hours ago, so like around 12 o'clock? Yeah. Uh, how have you been feeling up uh, to today? Uh, Otherwise, it... today I'm feeling great. So th up to 30 minutes ago, you were feeling perfectly yeah. fine? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick assessment for, for you that's a screening tool for strokes. Uh, I'm just going to get you to give me a really big smile. Show your teeth big, 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 big. I see no facial droop. Can you repeat the phrase after me? You can't teach an old dog new tricks. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> okay. Can I get you to close your eyes and just hold your hands out like this? Close your eyes. 
and just hold them there. We're going to get you hold them there for 10 seconds. Okay, we'll say 10 seconds has passed by. <clears throat> so you have no kind of signs of being Cincinnati positive. I'm just going to do a, a quick physical assessment on you, if that's all right. Uh, I'm just going to have a look. Um, I had a look uh, at your eyes here for a second. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll shine a light here in a moment because I know that uh, light's bothering you. Can I, I'm just going to pull down your eyelids. I don't see any evidence of anemia. Can you stick it in your tongue? Great. Uh, your neck veins don't look distended. Tracheus midline. No scars and rashes or lesions on his chest and his normal kind of uh, shape and symmetry of his chest. And you already said you have no sh uh, shortness of breath. Uh, I will auscultate uh, your uh, lung sounds. I forgot my stethoscope, but I'll just point. So breathe in and out through your mouth. And out, in and in and through your mouth, and in and in through your mouth, and in and in through your mouth, and one more. Great. And again. Okay, I'm just going to listen to your heart sounds. Obviously, I would be listening right on the, his skin, not through his shirt. And you just breathe in and out easy through your nose. I'm just listening to your heart. So I'd listen to the bell <clears throat> and the diaphragm uh, over aortic, pulmonic, tricuspid, and mitral. Uh, so we'd listen each uh, point and listen a couple of beats uh, at each and listen the normal S1 or S2. Uh, so uh, that's inspection, palpation, uh, no percussion required of, uh, of the abdomen. Uh, the abdomen is soft, no pain anywhere. Oh. Just going to push on your belly for a second. I note no continence. I'm just going to come down and look at your extremities. Uh, color looks good and cap refill, no pedal edema. Uh, can you just push down and pull up? And you can feel that the same on both yeah. sides. <clears throat> you feel, I feel on both sides here when I'm touching. Uh, can you squeeze my hands? Great, and I'll just look at your nail beds. Okay, um, just because you're complaining of some neurological uh, complaints, I'm gonna do a, a little bit more of a detailed neurological assessment. I'm not seeing anything thus far that makes me think that there's something serious like a stroke or something is going on, but we just wanna be extra careful. Uh, so we'll just go through that. My partner probably has a cardiogram back for me, uh, which we can have a quick look at. Uh, and uh, how bad's your headache? Are you said five out of ten? Uh, and we, do you think you might want anything for that headache? Or you get some Toradol? It's great. It a, well, uh, well, you've had Toradol before? No. no okay. True. Well, I'll, I'll get my partner if you're okay to start an IV. So we're just going to run through the cranial nerves. Uh, a number of things that uh, seem a little bit silly, but just look at what's going on in your eyes right. and your nose and your mouth. <clears throat> Okay, uh, if you just uh, look at me, and how many fingers am I holding up? Two. Just look right at my nose, right at my nose. How many fingers down? Four. Great. Just gonna shine a light in your eyes. Just look right at my nose once again, okay? Great. Good. Okay, now just follow the light. I'm gonna move it up and down and to the side and back. Great job. I'm gonna whisper a number in your ears. Just tell me whether or not you can hear it, okay? Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Can you uh, smell this? This is an alcohol Sorry. swab. Just tell me if it smells like alcohol and you can smell yes. that fine. Yep. Can you give me, uh, we already did this before, but give me a big smile. Okay, close your eyes really tight, 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 tight. Uh, can you stick it with your tongue? Okay, try swallowing for me. Do you notice anything different with your swallowing? <laughs> no, uh, and we've already said the phrase, you can't teach an old dog new right. tricks. Can you uh, shrug your shoulders for me nice and high? Uh, I'm just gonna touch your face uh, here with uh, just a piece of gauze. Does that feel about the same on both sides? Yes. And what about here on your arms? Same? Mm -hmm. No numbness or tingling? What about over here and here? Okay, Same? Good. Okay, I'm just going to touch you uh, with something that's kind of sharp like a pen would be. Does that feel a bit the same on both sides? Mm -hmm. What about here and here? Yep. And what about here and here? I'm just going to kick off your uh, boot for a second, if that's okay. <laughs> and I'll do this by ladder. I'm just going to scrape the, the outside of your foot. I know it's really annoying. Uh, yeah. Good. Good. Okay, uh, next we're just going to test some of your muscle strengths. Uh, put fist up, push me away, pull me towards you, shrug your shoulders again. Great. Uh, can we, uh, I, I want you to lift your knee up against my hand, lift it up, good, lift the other one up. Okay, push me away. I know we should have locked the brakes, push away. Okay, push down, good, and pull up. Great. Really strong, really strong, good. Okay, um, I, I'm just going to check your reflexes. Uh, and uh, in order to do that, sometimes I just need to distract you. So I'm just going to get you to count, at a, uh, uh, count up to 100 if you don't mind. Okay. Just relax your hands everywhere is nice and loose, okay? I'm just going to, just going to, so count it loud. One, eight, nine, eight, ten, eleven, good. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Good. 20, 21, 22. Okay, you're getting distracted. Count the tiles on the roof, maybe. There you go. Good. Just need to get you a little distracted. Good. Okay. Uh, so reflexes are fine. Uh, just want you to take your hands so we're going to check your coordination. Can you just tap your one finger together? Great. And tap the other one together. Now touch your my finger and then touch your nose. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Other hand. Back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Okay. With your uh, legs, can you just take your heel, touch your knee, and then go down to your ankle? Good. And do that with your other leg. Great. Uh, I'm going to try to get you to stand up. Do you feel okay standing up? You don't feel lightheaded or feel uh, wobbly at all? Nope. Uh, close your eyes. Okay, we, we're, we're standing. Don't let me push you away. Okay, can you just uh, try, uh, because you're not having trouble there, can you just walk across the room? Great. Uh, walk back to me. A little bit more brisk. Good. Okay, can you walk heel to toe? Good, good, good. Come on. Okay. And just come back to come back to me like you're trying to catch the bus a little quicker, quicker. There, good. Okay, have a seat. I just have a number of questions here for you, uh, just to check your cognitive function uh, to see where that is at. Uh, you uh, so you know where you are and you know who you are. Uh, what's the date today? March or May the fourth. May the fourth. <laughs> May the fourth be with you. Uh, uh, what place are you at? Oh God. Okay, um, who, what's been going on in the news? Uh, the Russian attacks. Okay, and who's our Prime Minister? Uh, Justin Trudeau. Okay, and what is 20 times 3? 60. 60. Uh, can you blink your eyes and then squeeze your hands tight? Good. Uh, what uh, do these things have in common? Apple, peach, and pear. They are fruit. Bed, table, chair? Furniture. What does this proverb mean? You don't put all your eggs in one basket? Don't bet on one thing. Okay, I just have some pictures that I want you to have a look at, and I want you to identify what these things are. So, uh, what's going on in this picture here? Um, a woman's washing her dishes, the sink's overflowing, and the kids are in the cookie jar. Okay, what's this? That's a glove. And what's this? It's a feather. And this? That's a hammock. This? That's a cactus. And this? A key. And this? That's a chair. Okay. Can you read these phrases to me, please? You know how, down to earth, I got home from work, near the table in the dining room, they heard him speak on the radio last night. Can you repeat after me, mama? Mama. Tip top? Tip top. 50-50? 50-50. Thanks? Thanks. Huckleberry? Huckleberry. And baseball player? Baseball player. Great job. Uh, what is this? That's a pen. How do you use it? You write it. Okay, thank you. Uh, so uh, right now, uh, I'm not seeing anything uh, really remarkable in your neurological assessment because you're having such pain i'm going to call the doc and we'll see if they're okay with us giving you a bit of tordal it sounds like you might be having a bit of migraine have you ever had one before no. and we'll continue through a differential diagnosis and continue from there